Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of App Development in Code.org with your finest computer science teacher in the land, my computer science teacher. So what we're going to do today is we're going to create a magic eight ball. And a magic eight ball is one of those things that you, you know, you make a wish and you shake it and it tells you an answer. Um, and it's randomly generated. It's not magic really, to be honest, but I'm going to, I'm going to basically unpick the magic in this and I'm going to show you how to make one. So I'm in design mode. At, I'm, in, I'm in code mode at the moment. Sorry. And I need to go to the design mode so I can start designing my, my first screen. Um, and because the magic eight ball is black, I'm going to actually make the background black too. Okay. So I'm going to choose uh, a color on the edge. There we go. Black. Um, I'm going to add a label because I want it to say magic eight ball. So I'll start typing magic, um, ball. I want to say magic ball. I can't even spell. Look at this <laughs> magic ball. Okay. Um, I actually want to create some space between magic and ball because I actually want to put an image in between them of the magic eight ball just to kind of spice it up a little bit. So you have to with this, you have to if you want to keep adding spaces, you've got to keep clicking and adding a space because if I click space space, it starts adding spaces at the end. I don't want that. OK, so I'm going to add the spaces as many as I not as many as I can, as many as I think is enough. I think that's enough. Then I'm going to increase the size of the text. Um, magic pool and then I need to put a picture over here so I'm going to drag my image on the screen and that is where the magic eight ball is going to go so I found a magic eight ball that I'm going to use which is this one I'm going to right click on it I'm going to copy the image address I'm going to go back um, and then I'm going to paste it into the image section of this image one paste that there perfect the next thing I want to do is I want to add a really big label that's going to essentially tell me, um, it's going to tell me my fortune, it's going to tell me my future. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to increase the size of this text box and do what I always do and center it. So click on the, 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 the label. I'm going to center it in the middle. I'm going to increase the size of the text and I'm going to, I'm not going to make it too big because there's probably going to be a sentence in there. So I'm going to put a question mark in. So that's going to essentially going to be like, this is where the answer is going to go. Um, and I need two more things. I need a text input so I can, you know, um, wish for something or ask something. Um, and then I, in the placeholder, I'll say, uh, ask me a question. Okay. You can, I think you can actually center this as well. You can, you can center the text of that. And it just looks like a little bit nicer, doesn't it? Now I'm going to add a button and the button is going to basically activate it. It's going to activate this and change this. So it will tell me an answer. Tell me what I want to hear. I'm going to say, um, um, get answer. Okay, get answer. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Um, I will probably change the background color. I don't think that really matches, does it? So I'll make like a gray color because it will kind of match as well the, the whole text vibe that I've got going on. So that's the design so far. And the magic now is in the coding, isn't it? So let's go and code it. So the first thing I need, first thing I actually need is I don't want to program the button to change the text yet because I need a group of responses. I need some random responses. So I'm going to go into variables. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to, I'm going to select this list here. And it's the one with the quotation marks on it. The reason why I'm selecting the one with the quotation marks on it is because I want you, I actually want to uh, say, um, I want it to give me a bunch of words, different words or, or phrases. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to say, these are the, these are the answers, answers, plural, more than one. I'm going to say, yes, I'm going to say, no, I'm going to say, uh, maybe, um, and then I've run out of responses. So I have to click on this little button here. When I click on the little arrow button, it creates another option for me and notice there's no quotation marks in there. I need to add two quotation marks and then I can start writing inside it. And this one's going to be um, uh, in your dreams. These are all generic answers, aren't they? I'm going to do one more. Um, and this one's going to be definitely not. Okay, so you can add as many as you want. Yeah. But what's important to know about this list is that when you create a list, in, when you're programming, your lists always start from zero. So to identify this element, it's it's got a value of zero. 
and it's like an address for that for that for that um, answer and this one will be one that will be two that will be three and that will be four okay so I've got from zero to four now haven't I so what I need to do now is I need to program the button so I'm gonna go I'm gonna click on the button yeah and I'm gonna I'm, when I click when I click on button one I want it to do something and what it's gonna do is gonna set the label to a specific item in that list so let's go and set text where's the set text where is set text where can I find it have I lost it uh, there is no such set number set text right there so I'm gonna set the text of label 2 um, to one of those items in the list and I can't just write I can't write um, get rid of those quotations I can't write answers like that because then you know it doesn't it's not it can't give me all the answers at one I want to pick one of those answers and to do that I'm gonna have to randomly generate one um, randomly generate one randomly generate one yes and in order to do there's a trick way we don't have to we don't have to do a long way there's a very good way to do this so what I'm gonna do set text of label 2 I'm gonna to go to my variables here um, and you'll see that one that we used earlier there's one underneath it I want to select an item from that list yeah so if I choose um, the name of the list yeah which see these two are exactly the same that's important um, if I if I run this now it's only gonna say yes all the time so when I run it yeah if I say will um, I win the lottery it's just gonna say yes all the time everything I answer to it's gonna say yes will Manchester United win the league and it's gonna say um, yes it keeps saying yes all the time so in order to change that we're gonna randomly generate one of these responses now so if you click on random number and you drag it into that little section there um, notice it's between 1 and 10 now I don't have 10 items and my items start counting from 0 remember so I'm going to say 0 all the way to 0 1 2 3 4 0 to 4 okay so let's test it now I'm going to reset it because I've reprogrammed it I'm going to run it again and I'm going to say is Arsenal the best team in the league okay hopefully we get a proper response here definitely not of course not they're rubbish they want to be the best but they're not so yeah and that's it that's how it works so let me ask another question now um what can i ask um about something in the future um will i become um will i become a professional football player get the answer ah oh, that is sad that is sad you know what that is really sad okay fine whatever I can make my peace with that I'm old now anyway I'm 38 now so sad times but uh, <laughs> let's go and ask one more question um, what can I ask now um, is um, my computing my computer science teacher the best okay let's get the answer definitely not this is a shambles man this is a shambles I'm gonna click it again see what it says yes I am look it's finally came to its senses I'm gonna take that I have to take that the fight the final answer I'll have to take that thank you very much magic eight ball thank you very much so what I want you to do now is I want you to go and create that app so you've got yourself a, a list You've got yourself um, a, a button click and also you're generating a random um, response from that. If you want to add some more to this, remember you have to click on this item here and add your quotation marks so you can add another one like, of course. Um, but then you're going to have to increase that number as well to five because I've got five items. Let me ask that question one more time. Um, will Arsenal win anything ever again? Ah, oh, this is not what I wanted to hear, guys. So yeah. Anyway, go and make it. Enjoy it. Remember, you can download it onto your phone by clicking the share button. Click on send to your phone, and, and then take a picture of that on your camera, and then it will appear on your phone like magic. So yeah. 
Um, thank you for tuning in again. Um, you, you're just continuing to learn more and more and more, which is the whole point of this this channel. So keep the growth, keep the progress, and then you know your life is looking a lot better already. So thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, share with your friends, um, and drop any comments in, in, in the section below just to let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you very much. Take care. I'll see you on the next episode.